Mental Health Falls Pediatrics, proudly supporting kids in our community in 7 Questions with Emmy. Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Questions with Emmy. Today, I'm here at Lucy's with Jeff. He's one of the owners of Lucy's Pizza. This is one of our favorite places to go on, on Friday nights or to celebrate. Right on. Let's get started. All right, I'm ready. Question number one. What made you think of starting a pizza place? To be honest, uh, I didn't really think pizza place was the first thing. We were just trying to find something else to do other than construction all the time. And we ran into a guy that said New York style is the way to go, and then we kind of looked into it, and it turned out being a really good deal. Question number two. Can you tell me the story of how Lucy's got its name? Yeah, actually, that same guy that introduced to just New York style, he kind of said, hey, you know, you need flour, you need salt, you need water and all that stuff. And he kind of got us going on the recipes. And to, as payment for like introducing us to New York style, he said, hey, we'll let you name, name our store. And he named it after his family pet bulldog, Lucy. It was a big family member for a long time. Question number three, what do you look in what do you look for in an employee? Shannon is my favorite. Yeah, I know you like Shannon a lot. Uh, we look for employees, which they're all around us right now. But uh, to be honest, uh, employee-wise, just someone that can stay motivated and stay have a self-drive of uh, being happy and just making sure there's a positivity around. Do you ever get sick of eating pizza? Actually, I don't. I, I eat last Two weeks ago, I ate pizza six days in a row, and I was still looking forward to the next one. I've only had, I haven't had pizza yet this week, but it's Monday. So, I'm gonna have some Friday tonight. nights like pizza and movie night yeah. for us. I'm having it's pizza tonight. It's always busy on Friday. Yeah. Which type of pizza do you like the most? My, I like to keep it simple. So like maybe one or two toppings. Uh, I like pepperoni sausage or, uh, I, I really dig on like a garlic and olive oil sauce, margarita, and I add sausage to it. I only like cheese pizza. What? You're missing out. I don't like pepperonis. I only like olive or cheese pizza. Okay. How do you spin the pizza dough into a big pizza? How? Oh, well, the biggest thing is, is you want to, whenever you grab the dough ball, you want to keep it in its round shape, because whatever you pat it out on the table to be, like if you pat it out to an oval, most likely when you try to throw it in the air, it's gonna stay oval. So you wanna keep a circle, and then when you, you throw it back and forth, you throw it back and forth, and when you throw it, you just wanna lightly catch it in the middle and let it kind of spin on your knuckles on the top of your hand. Question number seven, who came up with the idea to have markers so you can write on the tables and the walls, I see that. Right. Yeah. So, uh, to be honest, uh, so it's an FRP. In the kitchen, you're supposed to have a smooth surface. We went with the smooth smooth, and then we realized it was like a marker, like just a big giant expo marker board. But the tables, uh, it kind of we kind of fell on it because when we wanted to do the metal top, we realized that it was also really easy to mark and draw on it. We I don't know if you remember, but we used to do those uh, white, we used to take pizza pills and paint them white so we could give it to the kids so they could draw on it. But then we started switching the tables to metal and it made it a whole lot easier. That way you can have fun, make a mess, and eat pizza. So. Can you spin the dough for me now? Yes. You can be as close as you want, but you're going to get a little bit of flour on you, okay? Okay. That's what we're going to do. Like I said, you want to pat it out. I like to hit the edges. You want to keep a circle, okay? Okay. That little circle-ish there for you? Yeah. Okay. Now the next thing is, is like I like to say it's like throwing a baseball into your mitt. You know, you're just throwing it. You want it to kind of wrap over your That's arm. That's big. Yeah, it's not big enough yet. But then you throw it up in the air. I got a little bit of a hole there. But yeah, you made a hole. That's like an umbrella. It is. The warmer the dough is, the easier it is to toss out. But Think see, the hole got see how bigger? big it is? Yeah. Well, the hole. Thing is, is when the dough's warm, it's easier to poke a finger through it, stuff like that. But 
This dough goes right back. And then we don't have a hole. See? You want to yeah. keep it? This whole pill, this is a wooden pizza pill. Mm -hmm. It's 18 inches, so we want to make sure that dough covers the entire thing. See that? That's a big one. This is our biggest one here. How'd I do? Good. I do all right? Okay. So it looks like half of this is going to be your favorite pizza. I think this is your pizza, huh? If it you is ready? a pizza, yeah. then maybe we can put half cheese on it. Please. Yeah, do you want me to do the cheese or do you want to do the cheese? Can I do the cheese? Come on over here so you can reach it. Okay. Right over here. Now don't get too much sauce on your arm there. Can you reach it? I don't think I can. That's all right. I'll hand it to you and you bring it right over here. Both hands. That's here you go. A lot. Now hold it with both hands, all right? So now it's a half pepperoni. I'm gonna hand you the pepperoni, and you can do your thing, okay? Yeah, this probably is ours then. It's okay. One. And what we do is we do the half right down this, so when we put it in the oven, it doesn't fold over on itself. So you put pepperoni on this half here. There you go. Cool thing is, yeah. a little bit of that. Put that back in there. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna be tall enough to put this one in. You wanna, we'll do it, we can watch it down here. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you can hold on to it with me. And I'm gonna help you put it in, okay? You ready? Yeah. Okay, grab on, get a good, good firm grip. You ready? Here we go. And then when it starts moving, we come out like that. See how it kept the circle? Yeah. We're all done. There you go. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy.